He gave me the one word. He said, Motors motorcycle. I was like, motorcycle. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna write that down. God said it. And so he said, motorcycle. And so I was seeing a motorcycle. And he was giving me understanding of how a motorcycle works. And I know somebody out there on here knows how a motorcycle works better than me. So I'm sorry if I'm not as intuitive about it. But the things God was revealing to me is that once again, a motorcycle prepares you forward, right? It prepares you forward. I understood that God was showing me a motorcycle when you rev it and, the, and you do a wheelie. He was showing me this motion. He was having me understand this one motion sets up the whole plan for the direction of the motorcycle. That revving of the engine and the, and the, and the uh, motorcycle doing a wheelie sets the whole plan for where it's going to go. And so let's, let's elaborate on what I'm talking about. So God was revealing to me is that once again, a motorcycle prepares you forward. We know that, duh, it's a car. What he was revealing to me also is that it thrusts that you can have your vision at an angle and incline. What do you mean, Zach? What I'm saying is when you throttle on a motorcycle, you instantly do a wheeling and where is your vision? Where is your angle of the of the motorcycle at an incline now? You're no longer like a vehicle, like a car or a truck. They don't do wheelies like that unless you have a souped up nitro powered car, right? God was revealing to me as you rev with all your might the motorcycle and it goes up to incline. This is an indication of where you're going. An incline a glory to glory, a movement upward. So God was showing me the beginning of a motorcycle being revved up to its capacity is also the beginning and end of its trajectory. A motorcycle that revs up to the point of an incline is also stating I'm about to go very far as well. Because we've all seen it. When you rev a motorcycle up really hard and gets that wheelie, and you come down, you yeah, that top wheel hits the ground, you take off. So just the incline or the wheelie you make out of a motorcycle is already telling you the beginning and end of where that motorcycle is going. Hopefully I explained that great. <laughs> so this is what God was revealing to me. I know it sounds weird, but hey, this is what he was giving to me. Please take it to the Lord. Take everything I'm saying to God. And so when he showed me that, I'm like, okay, Lord, I get this. I see what you're saying. That's really cool. Um, I never thought of it that way. I honestly never did. So when he showed me that, God was revealing to me is that also for a motorcycle, a motorcycle, you have to have that throttle actively revved periodically. It's not like a vehicle where you can put the key in the ignition and it stays on. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to attend to the ignition staying on. You guys get where I'm going with this. You don't have to attend to the ignition staying on. But with a motorcycle, if you don't throttle that once every now and then, the engine's going to cut out. So what God was revealing to me is that you have to be attentive to the throttle you have to be attentive to the state of the engine that's moving you forward. Of course, there's a huge symbol symbolism with this that you can go with, but I'll, I'll focus on just the heart and the journey. Your heart, you have to attend to. Because if you're not repeatedly revving your heart for God, eventually it's going to die out. Also, if you're not giving your all in that revving, you can't even plan how far you're going to go. I guarantee anybody riding a motorcycle, once they rev it and do a wheelie and that wheelie comes down and they keep the throttle, they know they're going far. So in the incline also tells the trajectory. This is the same thing with our heart and our journey and our ministries. We have to be attentive. This is not a passive thing like a vehicle or a car. A motorcycle has to be attentive every single time, even when you get to a stoplight. 
you have to rev it and wait, rev it and wait. Because you have too much momentum, you have too much around you to stop going. You understand? In a motorcycle, you have too much around you to stop going. You have to get from A to B, and it's only A to B. If you stop midway, you're stranded. You're more stranded in a motorcycle than you are in a car. You see what God is giving the analogy that this is an all or nothing ministry. This is an all or nothing faith. This is an all or nothing heart desire for Christ. It's not like a car you can leave running and walk away. This is a motorcycle that you have to sit in that seat and say, uh-uh, you got to keep going. Nope, you're not dying out on me now. Mm -mm. God's still here. Rev, rev that thing up. So this is what God was revealing to me. Okay. Then the Lord said this after hearing this analogy, revelation, and understanding and seeing what I saw. He said this, this will be coming soon. A lifestyle where full application of me will be applied to their lives. He says, rev, rev the throttle. I'm about to release those in the chambers. They have been getting fueled up by my word to rev out the oil stored in these last days. They have forsaken, they have forsaken the world for my ignition. They choose not the flow of this world. My people will once again ride free. Free in the distance they shall go. No worries or fears near them. The speed of my spirit as their sp uh, speedometer. Rev, rev your engines. I have set them ready to set forth new paths of righteousness. I will reveal more of my abundance in these days to come in these coming days. I have prepared the fruit in these who have spent time in my word to complete the matters that are on my heart. I will move through them as their motorcycles cover much land, leaving tire trails for many to follow. I will see to it that my army is in the perfect state for a task such as this. And that was the word. And that was the first word he gave me. Um, really cool analogy. Really awesome way to look at it. Um, it reminds me of a dream I've had about me being in a motorcycle and traveling uh, for the ministry of God. Um, but for people who don't understand, sometimes if you have a dream of cars, or motorcycles and it seems to refer to a ministry you're doing something for god sometimes the vehicle you're driving is your ministry for the lord sometimes the car or the motorcycle you're driving or a truck whatever could be your ministry for the lord could be just pray about it i'm not saying it is always but sometimes a vehicle in your dreams if it's from the lord sometimes symbolizes a ministry based on the context of it make sure just to always seek the lord on it don't always say Oh, this thing means this. No, seek the context. And uh, yeah, let that be a revelation to you. Um, I saw in the comments, uh, someone was wanting me to make a clip of that utterance. I definitely will. Um, I'll make a clip of that for you guys to hear. Uh, appreciate you saying that. Uh, I think it was Sam. Yes, yes, yes. I try to make a clip of mostly all the things I share on the multiple uh, live streams for you guys, because I know it's a lot for some people. Uh, so you guys can check them out. But yeah, I definitely will. Thanks for the confirmation. The Lord said, walking in purpose said, the Lord whispered to me a couple of weeks ago, be vigilant. And I wasn't sure what he meant. This is confirmation. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God on that. I was just kind of scrolling up, guys, just to see what everyone else was saying. Uh, let me see. Oh, the Sabbath day is Saturday or Sunday. There's always speculation. I know the Catholic Church did shift things to Sunday when it was Saturday. Some people thought Sabbath was Wednesday. Um, but there's a whole study with that. I'm going to go too much into it right now. But something to really search out. One thing to always know about the Sabbath. Have a day of rest for the Lord. Despite the day. It's the substance of the day. What is the substance of that day? 
to dwell, be restored, cut off things of this world, and just have it towards the Lord. Keep the substance. The meat's more important than the plate the meat comes on. You understand? The meat's more important. Amen. Uh, let me see. So going on, I do have another word to share. Uh, this was on the 16th of this week. It does match. <laughs> it does match. Coffee before talkie mixed with the shirt of uh, hooked on Jesus. That is kind of funny, right? <laughs> I didn't plan that. It just turned out that way, okay? I did not plan that. So, if you guys are ready, as always, if you have any questions about anything I have to ask, anything, any questions, please ask. Um, you got beautiful people in this chat who can answer it too, not just me. Uh, but if I miss a question, guys, once again, just, hey, Zach, you missed something, and I'll go right back to it, okay? Cool. So, I received this the 16th. If you guys need more understanding on